Theodore Beza, Apologia pro Justificatione, Episode 3. C. Si, quod est Christianae doctrinae caput, de quo nobis prorsus constardre ad aeternam obtinendam salutem aporteat, hoc elud est in quo tum de justitia, qua nobis apud dei tribunal opus est, tum de elius ad episcendae certe ratione ex purdro puto dei verbo deseritur. Beza begins with the conditional C. If there is any chief point, caput, of Christian doctrine, Christianae doctrinae, quod here is actually aliquod, the indefinite adjective. After C, nisi, these conjunctions, nec, and ne, the ali portion of the indefinite is dropped. So aliquod is how we are to understand this. It modifies caput. Caput is neuter, singular and nominative as the subject of co- of est excuse me if there is any main head or chief point of christian doctrine christiane doctrinae feminine singular genitive concerning which the antecedent of quo is caput concerning which for us aportiat it is necessary it is necessary for us constardre to be in agreement or to be sure absolutely sure prosus ad salutem, with respect to, or for the purpose of, obtaining eternal salvation. Now the preposition ad patterns always and only with the accusative. So salutem is our feminine singular accusative object of the preposition ad. It's modified by two things, by the adjective aeternam, same gender number case, and by the gerundive, the verbal adjective, obtinendam which is from the second conjugation verb, obtineo, obtinere. Gerundives are passive, and this is the Roman's preferred expression to use a gerundive than a gerund. So, concerning which we must, aportiat nobis, reach a kind of sure conclusion for the obtaining of, in order to obtain eternal salvation, hoc eludest. It is this one. It is this one in which there is a discussion or a debate, deseritur, there's the verb, there is a discussion, tum, tum, both concerning the righteousness, de with the ablative, thus justitia, concerning the righteousness which we need, opus est, and opus est is an impersonal with the ablative of the thing required, it's an ablative of instrument, and here the dative of the person's requiring it. That righteousness which we need in the presence of God's judgment before God's tribunal, and also there is a discussion, a debate, concerning de, the ratione, the certa ratione, the sure method, ilius adipiscendi, the sure method of obtaining that righteousness. Ilius has as its antecedent justitia, and adipiscendi is modifying ilius. The form ilius could be masculine, feminine, or neuter. That pronoun has the same form in all three genders. But adipiscendi is only feminine. This helps us determine that its antecedent is justitia. So, both concerning righteousness and concerning the sure or the reliable method of obtaining that righteousness. This is a gerundive adipiscendi from the deponent third conjugation verb adipiscor, like so. And finally, he says that this debate, deserdretur, this discussion, arises from ex purdro puto dei verbo. So ex with the ablative noun as its object, the neuter singular ablative of verbo, modified both by puro and by puto, pure and brilliant word of God. This adjective putus, I learned while researching this, goes almost always with the other adjective purus. This is thus an uncommon expression because typically we want a conjunction between two adjectives which modify the same noun.